So last night I was streaming with you guys and then I just went to dinner and if you check the stream you probably see I'm not making this up. It's pretty crazy. It's terrible. I came into the room today and I was like, oh my goodness. I left my green tree python homes open after cleaning them. They're gonna be gone. One of the girls, she had her she had her shed, and instead of like running away and disappearing, this is I have the boy in between the two girls. So Alpha, I actually put over here in the side. So I just put him here while I uh, clean his home. So he's he's totally fine and he didn't get away or anything. Look at how amazing he looks. He's got blue and black. He's a Bayak. So it's going to be really amazing to see what his babies are like with uh, these girls. I think we're going to be very blue. Is he dead? Nope, he's very alive. <laughs> Oh, that's Alpha. Okay, we'll put you back in your home. We have to very soon. Revel took off and she went to go be with her sister. <laughs> Isn't that that's pretty nuts, huh? And like I can I can put these guys together whenever I want. Uh, Genesis and Revel kind of grew up together. It's, it's crazy how well, like I don't know. She literally left her home. She could have went anywhere in the room, but she went to go hang out with her sister. You could say that's just nonsense, but snakes, I think, do enjoy each other's company. And maybe they don't, but the same thing happens with, uh, with these two. I have found in my findings. Oh my goodness. Stop looking at the screen. Yeah. Uh, so I've found now, like, over the years of growing snakes together and stuff, they do tend to kind of stick together a bit more. Like, my blue-eyed Lucy ball pythons, when I, when I take them out and I put them places, they don't just kind of go their separate ways. It's almost like they entangle each other and go on journeys together. You might think that's nuts or untrue or snakes aren't capable of uh, thinking that way or whatever but as time goes by I find more and more that snakes are a lot smarter than we give them credit for that they do actually enjoy certain things that it's not just us giving them emotions but they do enjoy certain things and I think to myself like if you or I was stuck inside a a room what's the what's the best thing you could have for enrichment like another person <laughs> like maybe being in a room with another person would drive you nuts and be terrible and eventually one of you might kill each other but for the most part I think that if I was stuck in a room and I could choose one other thing to be in that room with me it would probably be another person <coughs> because you could have conversations you could play games you could make tell each other stories like you could enjoy that experience together so even though yes we're more complex than snakes and everything we're able to capable of way more but even at the simplest level right i think that the snake sees the other snake and they're like oh hey what's going on you know like they have sex with each other they breed with each other they interact they do things so i think that that is more than just something that is nature i think that there's a bit more to it that there is interaction and joy and we see it we see it with all animals they they group together and like maybe they don't enjoy friendships the way that we do but they definitely have some sort of relationships Okay, that's my little thoughts for you today. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Attack, uh, share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you'd like to uh, support the, uh, the reptile family here, join the Patreon. For only one dollar, you can help feed the animals and support your buddy over here.